What's going on, guys? It is your girl, Jenny for A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. Ooh, sorry. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So if you guys are driving, definitely make sure you check your rear views. Make sure you fix your mirrors. Make sure everything is adjusted. All right. And we about to tap in and see what's coming towards you guys today. All right. Spirit is saying y'all been focused too much on the past and the future. And not so much on what's going on right now. Your head is in too far away. Okay. And you need to get present is what I'm getting. So let's tap in. Archangel Michael and Alekwa. Please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap into the most important message. Surrounding the collective's energy today. I heard something big is about to unfold. Damn, the four of swords in reverse. And these cards is not in reverse. All right, so somebody, the four of swords is peace. Is getting back into peace, calmness, meditating, relaxation, a peace of mind. And somebody don't have no peace, y'all. Y'all don't feel peaceful today. Y'all don't feel like there's no peace. Or you can't sleep. For some of you guys, you couldn't really get no sleep. All right? But the four swords, you see how they're in a tent, relaxing. Somebody even want to be by themselves. Somebody feel like y'all Y'all probably feel like y'all can't be by yourself. Y'all want some alone time. All right? What else about this energy, spirits, that collectives need to know? It's like y'all want to, I'm picking up an energy like y'all want to go far away. To like, y'all want y'all want a good day to just rest. And no problems. Nothing on your mind. Oh, wow. This is about a dad. This is about a dad. This could be a single dad. This could be a stay-at-home dad. But this dad is a very loyal dad to their children. They're very committed. Um, they're very family oriented. The King of Cups is a lover. They are so genuine. This is somebody you could talk to. All right. And a lot of the times the King of Cups, they heart chakra open. So, so they like to keep the peace. Even if it means, it, even if it means sacrificing theirs. And that's why the King of Cups got to learn how to be more of the King of Swords. All right. It's looking like somebody is just overwhelmed with trying to be the best father they could be. And somebody is don't have no peace. Somebody looks happy around the kids. Somebody looks happy, but somebody doesn't have no peace in a personal life. All right. Somebody is unfulfilled. And their personal life. Um, this dad has an unbreakable bond with their children. Ooh. Yeah. Something happened. All right. So this is a relationship. All right. Between a father and a mother, a father and another woman. All right. But somebody got a call. All right. Somebody received some information that is going to change their life forever with this tower. Whatever information that this person got. All right. You stop. Whatever information news word of mouth something that this person received it caused a tower moment it caused an upheaval a sudden change of events where somebody got knocked off their path or feel like they got knocked off their path 
all right, where this person might not be in a good headspace because of a towel moment, something drastically happened regarding something that they heard, probably on the phone, and this man don't have no peace. All right, so something happened uh, via a phone call. Something happened via a phone call where it shook shit up. It shook shit up. Lightning struck with that phone call. And with this chariot, somebody moving on. Somebody moving in the fast lane. Somebody is persevering. Somebody is overcoming some sort of adversity when it comes to success. All right, so maybe they heard somebody in the streets moving fast or doing something. Also, the chariot is giving the energy of you guys are not, are not a part of the crowd. You guys are not regular. You guys are not ordinary. You guys are not stuck in the matrix. You see how these people behind you, they go into work. They not, not, not that going to work is the matrix. I'm not saying that. But sometimes people get so caught up in just going to sleep, eating, waking up and doing the same shit over again. Going to sleep, eating, going to work, waking up and doing it all, all over again. Not really finding themselves, not really finding a meaning or a purpose to this life. You did. And your chariot energy, you branched away. You in your own lane. You went a whole nother direction. You want to find the meaning of life. Okay? And shit is moving fast for you. Some, you know, for a lot of you guys, you're excited. Somebody's excited about life. All right? This could be you. This could be a situation where this is you in your chariot energy. Very different. Very unique. Very fiery. All right? Something about your spirit is lit. It's always a vibe. There's always an adventure. Things are moving fast. You don't have no conflict. You overcame a lot of conflict because you don't want to be different. You want to be different. You're not trying to be the same. It's looking like you broke out of the matrix and you're just having fun with life. All right? And this, this call, somebody got a call that shook shit up. You hear me? This call done shook up somebody's foundation. All right, let's start clarifying for y'all. Spirit, what is this full of swords? What is this not being able to have a peace of mind and solitude? Damn. Praying. Somebody's been praying. All right. The moon card. Something came out. The moon card is all about illumination. It's all about stuff being revealed. It's also all about your intuition. Your emotions. Somebody's been praying that they can have peace in a situation. Finding a peaceful resolution. And for a lot of you guys with these moon cycles, it's been affecting you guys. Somebody is definitely in their feelings. Okay? Somebody could be praying definitely for a change. But the moon cycles is affecting you guys. All right, Spirit, give me more on this moon. Some, something was revealed. Maybe somebody asked. For a sign. Maybe you guys pray for things to be revealed and uncovered for you. Spirit, give me more on this moon card. Yeah, the secret is out. The high priestess. All right. Whatever that was hidden. Oh, it's been brought to light. You know, the high priestess, she brings things from the unseen to the seen. The veil has been lifted. The curtains have been separated, all right? And whatever was in the back, whatever was hidden, has now been brought to light. 
and I feel like somebody has prayed for whatever was hidden from you guys to be revealed. And baby, whatever that was unseen is now seen. These are two major arcana cards. The moon card and the high priestess card is definitely intuitive cards. It's literally about nothing is no longer hearsay. It's been put to the front. It's been brought to the front. This could even be a reader. All right. The high priestess is usually a reader or somebody that knows what's about to unfold and what's to come. They are able to bring things and information from the unseen to the seen. They're very wise. Okay. They are um, an authority of spiritual matters. So for some of you guys, um, it, even if you're not a reader or don't watch tarot readings, you could have just prayed. All right, but whatever you've been praying about, yeah, this is a relationship, justice. Somebody wants justice in a relationship. Somebody does not want a relationship to be over. All right, Spirit, give me more on this King of Cups. This is that good dad energy. Like the kids really love their dad. They have time with them. They do a lot of fun activities. All right, there's a cool bonding experience. There's a lot of loyalty. All right, they feel like this is their best friend with this dog here. Yeah, look, this is a situation where there is parents that probably is on the verge of separating for good. All right. These people is looking like they don't, they might not live in the same house. They might be just existing for the kids. There's definitely some conflict and intimacy. All right, where this phone, somebody got a phone call, somebody found out something via phone, whether somebody was texting somebody, whether somebody moved on with somebody else, but the hotline is blinging. You hear me? For some of you guys, somebody could have got told or put on about somebody being in another relationship. Okay? And not saying nothing to a sword's energy, but somebody moved on. Somebody moved on and somebody may have been investigating the, the no communication, the cold shoulder, just the, you know, intuitively you feel like something's going on. This, it, it's a wedge. This is somebody when they with this person, they go to sleep. They're just existing for the children. All right. And with this two of swords, it's a choice. Somebody is about to make a choice or has made a choice. To move on and wherever they went or wherever they're happy at, whether they with somebody or not, somebody got a phone call via phone. All right. Yup. Oh my gosh. The 10 of swords divorce. So this is a final, irreconcilable, final divorce or breakup with a masculine and a feminine energy that have children. This is the final, ain't no going back. Somebody um, was timing it out. Maybe somebody was trying to give it time, but time has expired. This contract has been terminated. The, the relationship was bitter. It became bitter. Even if it started out well, Things started to get really bitter, okay? And somebody chose to reconsider their decision and walk out that door and see what it's like somewhere else, whether they independent or got in a relationship. But this is done. Somebody made the choice. Somebody made the choice to not go on like this, to take care of their children, to literally, it's all about peace. Somebody was not peaceful. Somebody didn't have peace, a peace of mind, contentment. And somebody, you know, if you are no longer permitted in a relationship and you continue to stay there and you know you're not supposed to be there just because of the other person and God, then boom, you know, that's what it is. Thank you, spirit. So the reason why this tower happened is because towers, that's a major shakeup in our life. And it's because no decision was being made. Everybody was leaning on their own understanding. 
All right. So when God and the universe makes the decision, oh, yeah, it's going to shake up shit because it's going to be forced to remove something out your life. And in this case, it's two people separating for good where it's looking like one of them, whether the masculine or the feminine, made the final decision to say, you know what? I want better. I want more fulfilling, a more fulfilling contract or partnership if I'm going to be in some sort of commitment like this. So somebody chose to go out and leave. Look, and they got into a new relationship. Now, this don't have to be serious. All right. But somebody made the conscious decision to leave. All right. What the fuck dropped? My yeah, my yeah. All right. Somebody chose to. They could even be choosing to leave the mother of their child with this Yemaya um falling. All right, but somebody is dating. Somebody is exploring. Somebody is experiencing new. Somebody has passionately connected with somebody. The two of wands is a very passionate chemistry two people have. All right, y'all could have met, y'all could have exchanged numbers and just hit it off physically. Somebody, you know, the wands is physical attraction, conversations, walks in the parks, wisdom, um, you know, going out, dating, intimacy, excuse me. And with these two colors right here, um, the yellow signifies your solar plexus. All right, it signifies your confidence, your willpower, your determination, right? Your enthusiasm. Somebody feels confident around you. Somebody feels like a burst of energy. And with you, with this red, somebody makes you feel really sexy. Somebody makes you feel like God's gift on earth. So this is twin flame energy. Like y'all give each other something that try to and receive from other people before. So this is not nothing serious. This couldn't be no more than a year two weeks, two months, maybe for some of you guys, maybe two years, but it still feels fun. All right. And somebody's elsewhere. Yeah. They're with the queen of pentacles. All right. So the queen of pentacles is a divine feminine energy. All right. Where they are very grounded. They're very down to earth. They're not so materialistic. They have the bag. Um, they rather do natural things instead of spinning. They live more in the spirit and not the flesh. All right, they're definitely um, creative when it comes to producing back to get an income or type of, some type of financial gain. They don't rely on a lot of outside influence. They're very productive. They're very reliable. They're very compassionate. Like you could sit here and talk to a queen of pentacles. Like she, she not going to gatekeep. She going to tell you what it is. She going to feed your vision. She going to try to ask. She going to try to tell you what she learned from business or what she learned from any type. She got resources. All right. She's very healing. This where they at. They done found the healer. All right. They done found the empath. And empaths are not usually folks so focused on keeping somebody in a relationship. They're more focused on the experience, the vibe. What can they learn? All right. And then you coming out as the queen of pentacles, a boss, somebody that is very secured in life, somebody that found their own lane, you're comfortable, you don't have to, you know, it's just materialistic things don't move you. All right. So, yeah, this is a new, this is a new um, partner that you have, somebody that you, that you hit it off with. And for a lot of you guys, if they were going through some type of ending, right, that I see here. All right, and you felt the energy as the empress. It's, they was going through this. All right, so I feel like um, this been in the works, but somebody actually moved on and they're physically attracted to somebody. So that's going to come with action being taken to pursue this person. And I feel like somebody heard from the great rhymes. All right, that somebody is involved and it shook up their whole shit. Because they not just involved with just anybody. All right, they involved with a queen of pentacles. Somebody that's connected to God and their past. Somebody that has found their self. Somebody that has felt their, their God and their belief systems. 
somebody that's able to guide and lead, somebody that has really, really advanced in life, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially. All right, this is a this is a, a warrior. All right, this is somebody that finds success over any fucking conflict. This is somebody that knows how to overcome adversity because they know a lot of times it's in the spirit first. All right, so this is an empath. Yeah, but somebody got that cool. All right. Um. All right, so let's start clarifying for you guys. All right, so um, spirit, give me more. On this two of swords, this is that energy of just not sleeping together in a bed on two on different phones. The masculine probably texting you. This person probably texts another masculine. It, 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 it is it's just existing. Oh my gosh, yep. And then whoever the feminine energy is, remember, Tarot don't got no gender. So if I say masculine and feminine, I'm just being clear on what I see on the card. And this could be this is just energies. But the feminine energy is feeling very insecure about who they moved on with you know to be real i'm gonna be real you know when you dating and things are not going right and you might be coming from a comic place even if you don't know what comic is and somebody move on to somebody that's in a queen of pentacles energy that got it that may could change somebody life or influence them to do good that should have that should have make you feel like insecure like Damn, I know this person's doing good. Or I know, like, say if this person got your social media or say if this person has any type of access to you and you're really, really about your business, you're really not out here disrespecting yourself, you know, they're going to be like, damn, I can't even put them in a, in a different category. You know what I'm saying? So somebody really just in their feelings right now, they, they, they're being forced to look at themselves and face themselves. They look, they're being forced to deal with certain things that they've been putting off. Because of a relationship. Alright. They for some of you guys they got low self-esteem right now because you're beautiful. Alright. And this is not saying that they're not beautiful, but their self-esteem is shot because somebody has moved on with somebody that is beautiful, somebody that has their head on straight, somebody that's grounded, somebody that believes in and has faith and has a belief system. Alright, so somebody has doubted themselves, and maybe this is a bigger issue. Maybe they were codependent in relation. Maybe they got daddy and mommy issues. Maybe they got self-esteem issues. Maybe they just need to find themselves. Maybe they were throwing glass and they live, they were throwing stones and they live in a glass house. We don't know. But this person is being forced because of this town moment. Because they didn't make a choice before. Knowing that they were no longer permitted in a relationship and that the lesson was learned. So somebody's feeling very insecure about somebody's feeling insecure about the intimacy, about somebody not wanting to sleep with them no more. All right. And let me tell you, when you meet a queen of, queen of pentacles in her true divine feminine energy, all right, you're going to be hooked. Not off of just the sex. The sex is going to be out of this world. But because of the, the healing inside, you hear me? The emotional safety. And when you meet a divine feminine that has it all and that really is just down to earth and really just want to see you win because they win it, your body will reject anything that is not divine. So before, these people probably could, could go and do them and then come back home just to sleep for the kids or wake up in the same house. This Somebody can't do that no more. Whoever met this queen of pentacles, they can't do that no more. It's looking like you're very laid back. You're not pushy. You're not forceful. You chase, you, you, you attract and not chase. All right. So this is somebody feeling insecure. Like, why am I not good enough? Or why does this person not see me? Who is this person on the phone with? What am I hearing? All right. And this is going to force this person to tighten up and deal with with their self-esteem problems and stop putting it on the masculine or stop, uh, stop saying, stop being with people that's cheating or just stuff like that. All right. So spirit, give me more on this two of wands energy. Damn. And honestly, I feel like y'all in this chariot energy, like y'all out the way. Y'all like, having fun with life. Y'all in your childlike spirit. Y'all damn sure not a part of the matrix. All right, y'all and y'all hugging trees and shit. 
you know, and this is the chariot energy going in your own direction. Um, so spirit, give me more on this two of wands energy. This is that hitting it off. This is that love at first sight type of energy. Like you found you in, in somebody. All right. Exchange numbers. Y'all can't stop talking. All right. And it's the physical attraction. The spirit. Magnetic. Ooh. They want to rewrite their love story with you. And you probably feel the same way. Y'all hit it off. Like y'all feel like y'all learned a lot. From past experiences that y'all learn better. Y'all know better now. You know, you got to forgive yourself. If you were a cheater or if you didn't do so good in the relationship, you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, yo, I forgive myself. And I did those things because I didn't know better. I was selfish. And now that I know better, I will never make those mistakes again. You're rewriting your love story with somebody new. This relationship has redefined who you are. And that's why this person feels so magnetically attracted to this queen of pentacles. Because that's what she's going to do. She does not want a man that loves her more than he loves himself. What the fuck you says that? I don't want you to love me more than you love yourself. This is what she's going to install in this masculine. Because she's going to love herself more than she love a masculine. So is the re is redefining this person's character. Their values. Their integrity. Their creativity, their inspiration about life, what they want to do. It's not always about, oh, what are we going to do together? No, what do you want out of life? So that way I can tell you what I want and we can see how we can create this. All right, so they are redefining. They feel like the past is just the past. They feel like they could just start fresh. So this is a love story that is unfolding. And one, it's like somebody is closing that chapter to one past relationship and starting to fill out their story with a new love. So this is all about redefining the relationship. And you know what? The com it's something about communication. Maybe somebody's feeling like nobody answering the phone no more or something like that. Spirit, give me more on this high priestess and moon card. This is that, that whatever this person received on a phone communication, this is what has been revealed because it's looking like this person was praying. All right. It's looking like this person was praying to get a sign based off of what they was intuitively feeling. Maybe it was just hearsay. It's not hearsay no more. Spirit, what is this energy? Like whatever the veil has been lifted. Whatever that was hidden is now seen. And it's causing somebody to have a mental breakdown. It's causing somebody to feel traumatized. These are all the things that's being brought up for somebody to deal with that they chose not to deal with before. This is all what's going on in this tower moment after this news has been found out. Now the real start happening. Now you're being forced to deal with your insecurities, your low self-esteem. You're being forced to deal with some sort of mental health and addictions. Addictions don't always got to be pills. It could be drinking too much. It could be smoking too much. It could be gossiping too much. It could be looking on social media too much. Anything that you do excessively is a motherfucking addiction. Addiction that is not benefiting you. So this news has turned somebody's world upside down. It's because of you. I told you, this is you in that chariot energy. You taking risks. It's looking like you're single, probably not for long. You're going out. You're taking leaps of faith. You're living your life. Spirit, so, yeah. Spirit, give me more on this divorce. This ten of swords. Somebody walking out that door. It literally says divorce cert certificate. So, this is like a confirmation, like, it's done. Yeah. And somebody want compromise. Like, there is somebody. See, that's the problem. Let that man go. Let that man go. Because then what's going to happen is the guilt trip. The guilt trip, bitterness. All right, what you compromising for if somebody has made the final decision to go? All right, you somebody is telling somebody, don't go both sides. We both need to give in a little bit. No, y'all can't keep doing that to yourself. 
All right, yeah. They love this person. They saying, look, they saying, I love you. I want this to work out. Can you please compromise with me? I'll fix my um, self-esteem issues or something like that. They're telling this person it's worth the wait. Please wait. Whole time, this a comic. <laughs> this person going to wait and lose out because this is what happened before. And then be and then be faced with them. This person lied the whole time. This person wasn't trying to change. And that's why this, this person is not going to do that. Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Pentacles energy, please, and thank you. Yeah, karmic lesson. She's been telling this person it's a karmic lesson. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that's highly intuitive, very spiritual, very tapped in. She might even do tarot or do tarot for herself or connect with spirit gods to make the right judgment or to see what's about to unfold and what's to come to benefit her. All right, this is a karmic lesson, a past lesson repeating itself. These are conversations that, that they probably having. These are past lessons repeating itself. You keep compromising and not standing on business. And then at the end of the day, things have changed for a month or two. And then it's back to square one. So this is definitely a karmic path. Somebody has closed out. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is comfortable. <laughs> All right, she's very poised. So this is a karmic path. And for a lot of you guys, whoever's in this divine feminist energy, Queen of Pentacles energy... You probably just came out and closed out a karmic path and doing good. All right. Yeah, this definitely could be about children. All right, Spirit, give me more on this tower moment. What was this conversation? The other woman. 32 on the clock. Somebody found out about another woman that is beautiful, that is successful, that is intriguing, smart, that has some sort of faith belief system, all right, that's, and that's happy as fuck, and this says happy, this says, this says you're happy ever after. Somebody got a phone call that this other woman is somebody's happily ever after. And that they're rewriting their love story. And that there's no more compromising. That this man knows that this is a karmic path or the woman. That it is a final divorce and somebody's not doubling back no more. You see, they used to double back. Somebody focused on not wasting no more time with this. All right. And all of this is happening for everybody greater good. All right. Somebody's happy elsewhere. This is like the Ten of Cups energy with this love card. This, this is actually was worth the wait. This new love. All right. Some legal things um, probably are going on. All right. But this was a karmic path. The lesson was learned and somebody made the decision to move on. Somebody may have kept it private or something like that or moved in silence. And somebody got word from the street about this person. Okay. You are in your chariot energy, very successful, advanced in all areas of your life, overcoming adversity, no longer a part of the matrix, just going in your own direction. This person is a great dad and somebody, a family is going to have to learn how to co-parent if they want to be great role models for the kids because you don't have to be together to be family. All right. Somebody chose to go elsewhere because it never was no peace of mind for a swords in reverse. All right. And this phone call. And then for a lot of you guys, this person was praying. This person was praying to whatever that they was feeling to be revealed. And God said, OK. OK. And that's what happened. And when you ask, you shall receive. When you go look and seek, you're going to find something. And it put somebody in a mental breakdown state. Whether they showing it or not, somebody is a little discombobulated in their mind. All right? It shook up their home foundation because now the karmic lesson is finally learned and closed. All right? And this is all divine. Everything that's happening on this table with this tower, that's God's will. All right? Because the choice was made by God to separate. So that's what I have for you guys. Make sure that you guys, whether... Whichever person you're resonating with, 
everything that's happening is going to be for your greater good. Even if it feels uncomfortable right now, the bitterness can't keep going on. The past lesson repeating itself can't keep going on. The compromising can't keep going on. The mental health and mental illness can't keep going on. All right? So even if it feels uncomfortable, even if somebody did move on, it is for everybody greatest good at the end of the day. All right? There's no wrong person here. There's no right person. This is just what's going to happen. This is God's will. And if anybody chooses to interfere, all right, I'm getting told to clarify the chariot. If anybody chooses to interfere with God's plan, it's going to really feel very, very tough for you guys because you're resisting change. That's supposed to come naturally. All right, Spirit, give me more of this chariot energy. This is where it's at. You see how that shit popped out? All right, it was worth the wait. You you got your life together. You have to get out of the matrix. You have to find yourself. All right, this is true love. Remember the happy, this is your happily ever after. Somebody loves your spirit. Somebody loves how, how unique you are. Like, you don't give a fuck about being a part of the crowd. You don't care about those things. They love it. They love it here. All right, um, court will impact your relationship. This person might be definitely going through some type of legal trouble. All right, yeah. Because I feel like for some of you guys, this situation might turn so bitter because somebody's so happy, somebody elsewhere, that there might be a situation where somebody feels left out and unloved and imbalanced in love, where they might try to take somebody to court for something. All right, but love always wins. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. You need to keep calm. You need to meditate and not overreact because what's yours is yours. All right, I'm hungry. I hear my stomach. Somebody probably hungry. Go eat. I'm about to go eat too. All right, yeah. Look, need and space. Somebody do not want you to take space. Somebody like, you probably like, you know what? I'm going to give you time and my queen of pentacles energy to, to really cut this off. I see it's an imbalance, you know. I see the love is not mutual. So I'm going to keep calm. I'm going to keep space. And that man or that woman is like, no, you're not. <laughs> keep space weird. I want you here. All right, you are a part of my dreams, baby. You are part of their dreams. You can't go nowhere. They want to see growth with you. Literally, they love you. All right, so they cutting that off. They just want to be happy. So again, there's no love. There's no wrong or right person. It's just simply what's happening. So I love you guys and I hope that.